Max Logano. Once again, a very happy Saturday night here in Southwest Louisiana, where as expected, it's been a pretty solid one outside so far. The one difference though is, yes, it is definitely a little bit warmer outside tonight compared to yesterday. In fact, let's take a look at just how much our temperatures have warmed up compared to 24 hours ago or either very close to those levels or as much as seven, eight, nine degrees in Oakdale warmer tonight than we were at this point yesterday evening. Here's what that means for our actual temperatures across the region. I do see a mixture of 60s and 70s on the map, which is good news since we are continuing to cool down. Cool spot is over in Oakdale at 68 to 70 degrees we go now as we head over into the Jennings vicinity and over at the Lake Charles Regional Airport. The temperature is at 72 degrees. We do have a slight southerly breeze, which is why our temperatures have been a little bit higher today than yesterday. And that's not going to change as we head into the overnight hours. So as we head throughout the rest of the night, we'll continue to see these temperatures fall. But instead of 50s on the map like we saw yesterday morning, I think we're going to replace those with 60 degree readings anywhere from the low to mid 60s and warmest yet at the coastline we're in Cameron. We might not fall below 70 degrees tomorrow morning. Then we'll head throughout the afternoon for our Sunday, get ready to head into the second half of the weekend here, and temperatures will quickly warm up. We'll be back into the 80s by lunchtime. By the afternoon, I think we'll push these temperatures even warmer, and thanks to those southerly winds, areas north of the interstate, I think will be the warmest spots with temperatures near 90 degrees, upper 80s for most other locations. So do keep that in mind. It's going to be a warm afternoon tomorrow. It also might be a little bit breezy. We're not talking about anything too crazy, but still with southwesterly winds in place, we may see gusts between 10 and 20 miles per hour during the afternoon. So do keep that in mind tomorrow afternoon for any of those outdoor plans you may have. After that though, our attention turns to the approaching cold front. It's still going to remain pretty warm during the afternoon, Monday and likely Tuesday. The front itself should start approaching during the day Monday and then finish moving through by Tuesday evening. And behind that comes some of that cooler weather. We'll take a look at those temperatures in just a moment. The only downside to this front though is that I don't see much of a chance for rain around. The air is still going to be pretty dry both the head of and behind the front. And obviously we could use rain at this point to help a little bit with the drought situation. I do think we'll have to wait a little bit longer. But in better news, take a look at these temperatures. We finally get a greater taste of fall. Check out Thursday morning. Low 50s I think are likely along I-10. 40s might be a good bet north of I-10. And if trends continue, we might need to adjust those temperatures down a little bit. So if that holds, we may need to break out the gumbo. We'll keep you updated this week. A quick look at the tropics shows no issues for Southwest Louisiana. So instead this week, we just have warm temperatures Sunday, Monday, maybe Tuesday, ranging from the upper 80s to low 90s. By Wednesday, we may not even get to the 80 degree mark. So definitely a taste of fall right there. Now we turn things to Justin with sports and a look at the Tigers night. 